guys welcome back uh, today we are going to discuss about the how does standard recipes helps in indenting so first of all what we have to see is what is an indent what is an indenting so everyone knows what is an indenting indenting is something that uh, a document which 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 states the requirements of the commodities which is given to the store department and in returns you get the commodities or the raw materials for your preparations to turn up into a dishes so here a standard recipe is very very much important because a standard recipe is finalized or fixed uh, things which is been written instructed used to consistently prepare a known quality and quantity of the food or and produce a product that is close to identical in taste and uh, taste and yield every single time that when you prepare a food so here how does it standard recipes helps in indenting standard recipe is itself a set documents or a set or a written instructions that we follow it's an every single time so in this regards the first thing that we need to talk about is the principles uh, principles of indenting principles of indenting is yield of a product type of event original influence and service style yield of a product is for example say if we want to have a deboned meat then we need to purchase a meat which is of more quality a uh, more quantity then we need to go for a deboned for example a kilo of meat a bird will give you uh, more over uh, uh, 450 500 grams of meat that is the yield so likewise it's a net weight that we need to uh, that we need to understand that we need to take on so yield of a product are, are uh, like uh, say net uh, net weight that we are going to use them so type of event the second point is a type of event where the food is going to play a major role what is the type of event is it uh, is it a birthday party is it a conference is it a high tea what, what kind of event it is it's a wedding reception what kind of for in that uh, we, we, we we will be discussing that uh, what what kind of food will be preparing yes of course uh, more food if you prepare then the lesser quantity it has to be prepared because every single people tends to eat every single food item which has been there so a tasting little by little or a spoon will lead to eat more so the quantity of the food item has to be reduced so the types of event will lead to such kind because say a birthday party will give you uh, a beautiful impact in, in terms of say fancy foods or finger foods those one also have to think of if it is a bird, uh, if it is a marriage party or a reception then food has to be something different as per the client's requirement of course then the original influence we should not forget about it because the not people if we served a fish then they will not like it but the eastern part of india which if you, if you served a fish then then of course definitely they will love the fish so regional influence is also one thing that you need to where you are working on where you are doing the catering where you are uh, dealing which client you are dealing with that has to be again considered that has to be again understand and the regional influence will give you a beautiful impact in the business or the catering which we are planning for because the the the, the indent is going to help you the indent is going to help you in the uh, you know the, the the impact the service style where it is supposed to be a buffet or a, or a, say daily menu or it's going to be an a la carte what kind of things you are planning so that is one one things that you need to understand again in terms of the principle this will help you in the standard recipe uh, in 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 indenting so the main advantages of standard recipe is what so we are most focusing on the standard recipe because it does have some few main advantages which leads to you know the the, the points or uh, leads to the uh, conclusion where it gives you the more impact uh, understanding the standard recipe and dealing with the uh, more food uh, sorry uh, bulk feeding a well tried recipes ensure a consistent, uh, consistently good finished product it controls portion size 
which is very important in costing a dish. It is uh, easy to determine the cost, the, the food cost of a particular dish. It simplifies the uh, pricing of a particular dish. It reduces the possibilities of errors because standard recipes are all the set documents, set regions, which has never been failed. It has been tried again and again several times, and it has been set and again it has been followed by many different uh, chefs or many different uh, people who work in the food industry, and it has been accepted by all and has been practiced by all for the productivity, profitability, and for more convenience. Objectives of standard recipe also will play a more important role, uh, a beautiful important role in the uh, uh, in, in, in the uh, ending. The first point that we can see is to determine the quantity and quality of the ingredient to be used to uh, uh, to obtain the yield uh, obtainable from a recipe, to determine the cost per portion, to determine the nutritive values, to facilitate portion control, to help in costing of a dishes, pricing menu uh, for a banquet or the kitchen wherever the food is supposed to be. It helps in uniform quality and the taste. It requires less supervision. Less training is required for a newly adopted employee. Establish food cost control. We can, in, um, in objectives of standard recipes, the few points that we have mentioned we can look in a very vast way. That will be covered in the next slide. Uh, in these objectives, uh, this is the most important thing that we need to think of when we do have a standard recipe. So following this standard recipe can lead you to the understanding of the indenting and the, uh, uh, how, how do you say it? Uh, Objective, uh, objective of standard recipe will help you to do the indenting in very good ways and a very simplified way. Uh, keeping in mind all these the advantages and the objectives of the standard recipe will definitely help you in the uh, procuring or the purchasing or the receiving or the planning of your purchase. Uh, keeping in mind and uh, keeping in mind the standard objectives and the principles for the stores. Thank you. See you.